Hello everyone. Today in this session we will cover another programming language or another tool that is Python. So we will cover each and every basics of Python right from the beginning to the advanced level. So before we start our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So without any further delay, let us start our session for the day. So without any further delay, let us start our session. So the first topic that we will be covering under Python would be the dictionary concept. So first of all, let us discuss what is dictionary. So dictionary consists of items which are stored as a key value pair. So ev for every key, there will be a value associated against it. So now let us uh, so now let us start to create a dictionary example. So in order to create the dictionary example, define the variable that is dict equal to and then the curly braces and then uh, give the name to your uh, then define the key to your dictionary and then the value and then we will create another uh, value key value pair that is id colon and then one uh, id colon and then in single quotes one and one more key value pair we will create that is subject then colon and then we will give as computer applications so now in order to print the dictionary simply use the print statement and then give the name of your variable that is dict and then click on the run button so it will define or it will give the dictionary that you have created now in order to retrieve a specific key and value against uh, in from your dictionary use the print dict and then define the key name that you have given while creating the dictionary. So I will be giving a print dict name and then we'll click on the run button. So it will give the value as Abhishek. So in the same way you can get the value of ID. So over here instead of name you can change the key to id and then just simply click on run so id it value will come as one similarly for subject change the key name to subject and then click on the run button so the subject which you will get is computer applications so this is how you can create dictionary and print the dictionary values and a specific value against that particular key in the dictionary using python so in this section we will cover the various methods and functions which are there or which are present under the dictionary so in order to discuss the various methods and functions let us look at those functions one by one so the first function that we will take a look at that we will take a look is the length function so in order to print the length of the uh, length of dictionary you need to use print len and then pass in the dictionary variable and then click on the run button so since there are three items present under the dictionary uh, variable so it has returned the length as three so the next function that we will use is the get function so what get function does is it returns the value of the specified key. So over here use print uh, print method and then use dictionary dot get and then uh, pass in the uh, key that you want to retrieve. So I want to get uh, the uh, so I want to get the value of key that is name. So I will give the dictionary key as name and then we, I will click on the run button in order to see the output. So the output which it has returned is the value against this dictionary key that is it has returned the name as Abhishek. 
so the next function that we will use is the items so in order to get the items uh, from the dictionary you need to use print di dictionary variable dot items and simply use the brackets and so it will return all the values or in the form of list uh, in the form of list containing a tuple for each key value pair so the basic function of items method is to return a list which will contain a tuple for each key value pair the next function uh, that we will use is the keys uh, function so the so the function or uh, so the function of keys method is to return all the keys contained in the dictionary variable the next item that we will use is the pop method print dictionary dot pop and then over here i will pass the index that is to remove the item from the first uh, first index click on the run button so the uh, so there is an error which has come against this pop method so we will look what is the error uh, and how it can be resolved so in order to resolve this error instead of index we will need to pass in the uh, dictionary key that we have used so over here we will use print dictionary variable dot pop and over here we will pass in the id and then we will click on the run button so the ditch, uh, so this is now so the id variable or id key would have been removed so in order to print the latest dictionary values use print dictionary and then click on the run button so over here the id has been removed from the latest dictionary that we have printed so the next function that we will see is the update method or update function so the update method is used to update the dictionary with the specified key value pair so in order to use the update method use the dictionary variable dot update and then in the curly braces pass in the id colon and then uh, and then in double quotes pass in the value and then close the curly braces and the small bracket and then click on the run button now in order to print the latest dictionary again use print dictionary and then click on the run button so now you would see the id has been inserted to the latest dictionary uh, variable the next value that we will be using is the values option or is the values method so what the values method does is it returns a list of all the values which are present in the dictionary so in order to use the values method use dictionary variable dot values and then just uh, click on the run button it will return all the values which are present inside the dictionary variable against the corresponding dictionary keys so these are the various uh, dictionary methods and functions that are present and over here we can uh, use one more uh, function that is dictionary type means type of dictionary that uh, that is there click on run button and it is of class dictionary so this is how you can use the various methods and functions which are present under the dictionary uh, uh, variable.
So with this we have come to the end of our video discussion wherein we saw how to use the dictionary concept in python. So if you have any issues or queries regarding this video then you can raise your queries in the comment section and I would be more than happy to answer all your queries. So before we wind up our session for the day I request every one of you to please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our youtube channel. Thank you all and have a great day.